Hello awesome people. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'm taking a look at the second short story in the uh, Shakespeare vs. Cthulhu uh, collection that we've been doing a deep dive into. It's called A Madness Most Discreet. It's 24 pages long. It's by Michael Carroll uh, for you folks. Uh, it is a retelling of the Romeo and Juliet story with uh, Paris's page as our point of view character. So we're going to be following along with Paris. And, uh, who's the bad guy and, and antagonist of this retelling of Romeo and Juliet rather than, you know, a retelling of, you know, following Tybalt or following, you know, other people that are traditionally in antagonist roles in that book. Uh, I'm sorry, book in that play. So that, that's basically what's happening. It took me about 50 minutes for me to knock it out last night. I definitely was enjoying it. So it's a, it was a fun thing. This is the second short story in this collection. The first one was a 30-page one set in modern days. And it was a, uh, uh, basically, uh, a point of view character was a, a, a female daughter of a, a witch in a, who's had a bookstore uh, and such. And she's studying a journal of somebody that she can't really read or understand. Uh, and she is asked uh, in the first and second pages, well, she's being instructed by that uh, to buy by somebody a new guy while she's in college a brand new student what's the book that she's reading and such and so they too or that this is a simple thing and that's definitely uh, and, and while Shakespeare is involved in that because they both are studying the play and that sort of a thing will act in it in, in, in Romeo and Juliet this one's more actually a retelling of, of a Shakespearean play and with like a little bit that is bent to it. So basically what's happening in this and there's spoilers and such uh, but this is again a retelling if you will of Romeo and Juliet from the from the from the aspect of a page that serves Paris the bad guy. So, so that's basically the key concepts of what's happening. As a reminder, the central concept of this is that Shakespeare was the one to discover and start talking about the Cthulhu mythos not. Uh, H.P. Lovecraft, and so that's the central quincy of this stuff. I'll link to you in the comments below in case you're interested. This is a 2016 collection uh, for you folks. All this stuff was written brand new for. It reminds me a bit of the Sherlock Holmes uh, and Cthulhu Mythos crossover, because this is a crossover with something else in the Cthulhu Mythos too. That's also in the open area. It's available for people to write about and such. So it's good stuff. I liked it. The first one I gave a seven and a half to because it was a really strong opening. This one's a little bit less of a short story, but it's probably more of a seven. It's still a nice and fine continuation of the core concept with you folks. Uh, there's a little more description. Uh, it's, it can get a little flowery at times, just like Shakespeare. So I wouldn't say, you know, it's 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 a great starting place for Cthulhu Mythos stuff. It's definitely something that's nice. So we're, we're drinking a deep dive with it. For you folks. So there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read this? If so, what did you think about it? Let's talk about it more in the comments below. And if you like my 7 out of 10 or disagreed with my rating, let's talk about that too. If you enjoyed this one, hit the subscribe button, the like button, the bell icon if you feel frisky. I'll let your friends know. Also, as a reminder, this channel's name uh, is that the worst thing about new books, which is a quote uh, by a French philosopher in the 19th century, that they were keeping us reading the older books, right? And this is older. This is older? It is eight years older. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people haven't heard of it, but it isn't exactly, you know, this recent, re, you know, older thing that people have forgotten about, right? So it's not exactly as a part of it, but it's definitely, I think it's fun stuff. So I think you'll like it and probably haven't heard of it before. It's edited by Jonathan Green, the guy who did the Ace King books that we'll be doing a deep dive into, and that's how I found it. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and then finally, I just want to Thank you so much just for taking some time just out of your busy day, right? And investing and uh, in watching my video because we all have so many things that are happening, right? In our lives. And we're pulled in so many different directions, right? So the fact that you spent this time with me, that's incredibly humbling. And I appreciate it so much. So have a great day. Bye-bye.